concern for health officials in Barbados and around the world is the increasing number of persons being diagnosed with chronic non-communicable diseases or lifestyle diseases like hypertension, diabetes, and heart disease. In Barbados, in the face of younger persons becoming victims to the CNCDs, as they're called, the Ministry of Health is targeting school-aged children and encouraging them to make healthier choices for their meals. And of course, it's easier to eat healthy if it tastes better. <laughs> Chef Derek Wendt has a lot of ideas about making healthy foods tastier. Hello Derek. Hi again. And what are we going to do today? Well I thought because children love to snack so much mm -hmm. that I would just show a few alternative snack ideas. There is one particular drink that I make that I call an Obi Joyful which I raised my own children on and they're very very healthy um, and it's a very simple um, very flexible recipe process that I, um, I use and it just incorporates a lot of healthy um, nutritious ingredients all put into the blender and can be drunk as a uh, smoothie so it's an Obi Joyful smoothie basically and what I'm going to do is take that smoothie and change it into a snack idea that can be chilled and served as a, a little bite thing that kids could actually do for themselves really nice and simple something like a snack bar it's like a snack bar but something you make yourself so you actually know what's in it yeah. okay. and I noticed that you're using all tropical fruits for your smoothie of course I'm not going to be actually using all of these they're just wonderful fruits that we have at our disposal mm -hmm. that even the orange has um, something we don't often use is the zest mm -hmm. the skin of the orange which in addition to making excellent tea that's good for colds has a lovely flavor to other dishes as well if you just scrape off the skin and include it it's a really very beneficial and tasty ingredient to add to things but tropical fruits in general just the color the taste the variety lend themselves to all kinds of very healthy snack ideas that you can get the children to eat snacks rather well fruits rather than you know the the, the crisps and the chips and the things like that and I know that smoothies are really very popular nowadays they're very popular it, it, the body doesn't need to process them very much so it goes directly into producing energy and so you can be very concerned about what you put into them to get the benefits that you personally for your lifestyle choice need to address um, I make a smoothie for myself with some of the ingredients that I'm going to be using today and I can go without another meal for four or five hours it's that energy sustaining yeah. So it's good for people who are on the go. On the go, very, very fast and easy. You can drink your meal in a flash. And excellent for children coming home from school that have homework to do and that sort of thing. Yeah. Boost the energy levels without filling them up in a way that will make them sleepy. Okay. Well, this time I brought along two young people to actually help you. Actually, Dominique is a dancer, so she needs lots of energy. Yes, great. This is Dominique. And Hi, this Dominique. is Latonia. And they're going to be assisting you today. Excellent. Thank and you. we look forward to what you have to produce. Okay. Well, why don't you guys come on this side? And as I give you all things to put in to the blender, you can then just do that. Okay? The first thing we want to do is um, open up a banana. You can open up this banana and just break it into pieces. Your hands are all clean, yes? Yeah, good. And you can do that one as well. Let me see how you all open up bananas while I manage this mango. And just break it into about three or four pieces and put it into the blender. I'm just going to take a cheek off of this mango. Hopefully it's a nice mango. These days people are picking mangoes for a stripe and I'm not quite sure what you're going to be getting. I think this one is not too good. Nope, it's not nice. So let me get another one here. This looks good. Oh yes, this is much better. The problem with picking fruits that are, picking fruits green is that you don't get the nutrients and the flavor of a tree ripened fruit. So what we've done is just put two, two bananas and a half of a mango into the blender. Okay? And then we can take these skins, put them here. All right, put um, you can put a, a spoonful of this. This is coconut milk powder. You can put a spoonful in there. And maybe you pick out a handful of almonds and chuck them in as well. So what you're doing is just putting a whole bunch of really nice, tasty things that are full of nutrients. Put another one. We're going to add some, make, make some nice coconutty flavor in there as well. Just put it in. This is 
local sea moss. Okay, you can just rest those down anywhere here. Just put them back in. Yeah, great. This is sea moss. You know sea moss? It has a lot of vitamins, minerals, trace elements, all coming from the ocean. Extremely nutritious. Very, very good for your skin, good for your hair, good for your nails, good for energy. Perfect for anything that you need to do with an active lifestyle, particularly if you're going to be dancing. Um, you're going to put some, let's see, pour in some water. If you half fill your blender, it's going to make a full blender of drink. You can put some molasses. Molasses is great because it also has lots of minerals, lots of B vitamins. It's very strong, so you don't need much. But it's a great thing to add to your diet. This is Bajan Blackstrap, which means it's a Barbadian product. A little bit of oats for fiber and energy. You want to chuck in some? Just shake in about two teaspoons full, two, two tablespoons full. Keep on going, keep on going. Tap, 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 tap. That's great. That's enough. Excellent. You can really put in just as much as you want. It doesn't have to be anything hard and fast. You want to put in the same amount of flaxseed. Flaxseed has all the amin um, fatty acids. That's great. I use the whole seed because it has a complete, the, um, the, 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 the elements com remain whole and it doesn't get rancid. A dash of bitters. A little almond essence. And what else can I put? Something maybe? A little bead of honey. Just a little honey. Remember, this is going to start to turn into a dessert at the end. So after we have it as a drink, we can use the extra for a um, dessert. Okay, let's put on the cover. And holding it in place, let's just flick on. Speed. Okay, I wanted to get some ice now and start putting it in. Yeah. You can use your hands with me. Just put some ice in. That should be good. Great. Now that's our fruit and nut smoothie. Oh, be joyful. Very, very nutritious, very, very healthy. And we're going to pour some into some glasses so you can try it. Everything's organized. This terrible mango can come out of the way. It's a shame when mangoes are picked green because they never ripen. for you. And one for you. Thank you. How is it? Delicious. Delicious. It's like drinking ice cream, but made with fruits and nuts. And you can actually taste the high level of energy that's in that food. All it's doing is going to build you up and make you strong and healthy. And see how fast and easy. And you can put any combination of anything in there. You can use whatever your favorite things are. It doesn't have to be as complicated as I made it. You can make a peanut punch for yourself made out of uh, like crunchy peanut butter. That's another thing that you can use and instead of almonds or other things like that. Is it sweet enough? Yeah. yeah, the banana and the mango, you don't really need a lot of sugar or sweetener to add to it. Once your fruits are ripe, you get a lot of natural sugars that are just going to build your energy, keep your glycemic levels stable and without spiking. And you can taste it's like almost like a meal. Yeah. So what we're going to do now, just let me show you how we go on to make this into a dessert, right? Um, what I've got here is some granola, which is the basis of most snack bars that you buy in the supermarket. So I'm going to put some granola in my bowl. That should be enough. About, that's about a cup of that's about a cup of granola. And I'm now going to add some of my smoothie. Maybe a little bit more coconut milk powder. Put all of that. 
lovely coconutty flavor. We can add some more nuts so it becomes a very nutritious nut bar. These are sunflower seeds, some almonds. Should I crack the almonds? Almonds, if you twist them like this, this is a trick for almonds. Instead of putting them on a board and chopping them with a knife, if you hold them in your fingers and you just twist them, they break. So you don't have to make a mess with them jumping all over the place. Hmm? You want to try one? Sure, here. See if you can manage. Twist it. Is you strong enough? Maybe you have to build some more muscles. Bend and break. But you might have to chop yours with a knife or hit it with a spoon. Try it with, um, try it with a stone. Try it like this. Hit it with this. Take this stone and just hit the almond. Your almond. Just not hard. Tap it on the side. Flat like this, look. Right? Smash it like that. You see? Right. And that makes your almond crack up. That's another way to do it. Here, you want to do a couple? While I get some other things together, you do those. You want to help? Are you okay? <laughs> Enjoying your smoothie? You put, just hit them sort of firm. A little bit of honey. Hmm. And some coconut milk. Okay, we can throw those in now. So that's adding a lot more protein to our snack bar, right? Okay, I want you to, you come and do some stirring for me. Just stir that in. Take any one of those spoons because we've been using those. Just stir it so that all the granola is mixed in with the, um, with the smoothie mixture. put a little coconut to dry it out. This is a coconut, grated coconut, dry without sugar. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Keep turning, keep turning. Make sure it's all mixed in properly. What you want to be making sure is that all the ingredients are combined together. You don't have to be gentle with it because they're not going to complain at all. They would just be th thoroughly mixed, all the ingredients. Okay, then. Yeah, that's good. Okay, excellent. And then what we do is just take that and turn it into a casserole dish. Um, yeah, we just turn it into the casserole dish. And press it down with the same spoon into a bar, bar thickness, which is about an mm, inch and a half. Maybe that much. We press it down with the back of the spoon. See the technique? You want to try? Come and try patting with a spoon. What you're doing is pressing it down, making sure it's all one level. Yeah, press it good. Don't just tap it, press it. So it's firm. What that has to do now is go into the fridge for a little while, and what it will do, it will set. The sea moss is like a jelly. It helps it to set. And also all the, um, all the various fruits and so on will make it into something that you can actually pick up with your fingers. Great. Let me just make sure that's good. What you want to look for is make sure your sides, all your sides are down, you see, even. Keep it just flat. Hmm? It's like a granola bar. And you can see that it looks like a granola bar already, except that it's just a little bit wet. All right, so that's the snack. And when that gets cold, it'll set. And then you can actually slice it into pieces and serve it as a dessert or as a snack bar. You're sitting, sitting watching, what, not Days of Our Lives, I hope. <laughs> yeah. What were you watching? Animal Planet. No? What would you be watching? Teenage. Hmm? Teenage. Okay. Yeah. And so that's, that's a simple, simple snack bar. And you can put that into your lunch kit and take it to school as well. Yeah? You can make it into a fancy dessert by adding some dried fruit, serving it with some coconut cream if you want to serve it to your guests as an adult, and make something really interesting that is really, really healthy and tasty for everyone in the family. Okay, so I'm just going to 
complete the snack bar. This is a, has been chilled for a little while, so it actually can, you can actually see it will slice. I'm not going to give them much because it's very rich. You can see how it will hold together if it's really chilled for a while. It'll be um, a snack bar. And then I'm going to just decorate it with some dried fruit. These are kiwi and popo and pineapple. You can make a very simple dessert, very fancy, without much ado. So you can actually serve this to your guests as a dessert that is really quite delicious. You can sprinkle a little plate with a little bit of coconut. little drizzle of some coconut milk. This all just for flavor. How is it? Chewing, chewing, chewing. It's very chewy. What do you think? Hmm? It tastes as if it could be bought from the store. Is that a compliment? <laughs> okay. Yeah. The thing is that it's, um, it's such an easy thing to put together. And if it's cold, it'll actually, you can actually pick it up when it's really been chilled for about two hours. You can pick it up in your hands like a snack bar, like a regular store-bought snack bar. Good, well, I'm glad you all like it. <laughs>
Yeah. Okay, thank you very much, Derek. <laughs> and once again, that was Chef Derek Wett. Remember, it's easy to eat healthy when it's also tasty. See you next time. Great. <laughs>